boys and girls. I am here to do the mitten project with you. So uh, I'm going to read you the story, but I also want you to go get your paper bag that you have and your big mitten. And the big mitten should have all the, um, the little animals attached to it. Um, and then you're gonna need a glue stick. And you're gonna need a pair of scissors. So if you need to stop the video, stop the video and go get all those things. Um, I am going to start off by reading the story and then I'll do this with you. All right, here we go. The Mitten. Here we go. Let's see if you can see this okay. Okay. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop them in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. See that? One of his mittens got left behind. It's right there. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. There he is right there. How do you think he feels now that he's all cozy warm? He probably feels really good, huh? A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Do you think he was scared of those big kickers? He probably was scared of them, huh? How would you feel if those big rabbit feet came at you? Ooh. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. So because he has all those prickles, they don't want to get those stuck into them. And so they're like, ooh, we'll let you in, huh? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Oh gosh, they seem like they're a little scared of the owl too, huh? Each animal is getting bigger and bigger, and they seem like they're getting a little bit more scared of each other, huh? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. They were like, oh boy, he's going to get us if we don't give him a spot. So they gave him a spot, huh? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in their mitten. A waft, waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of a cozy 
mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth. They gave the fox lots of room. There are a lot of animals in there now. You've got the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger, and now the fox. You got five plus one more is six, huh? So now there's six animals in there. And each one is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear, look at that. What's coming now? What is that? It's a big giant bear, huh? A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, not being one to be left out in the cold. He began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? Would you argue with a bear? Oh, no. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and, and bulged. Too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. So now there's another animal in there. This is a lot of animals. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. So they're not in that mitten anymore, huh? On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. <gasps> he found his mitten. How do you think he feels now that he found his mitten? He's probably pretty happy, huh? As he ran to catch the, his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. But look at the mittens. Are they the same size now? Look at that. One, there's it. One is really small, and one is really, really, really big. <laughs> All right. So a lot of feelings happening in that book, huh? Where the animals get bigger and bigger and bigger and they want to join in. So people are getting a little bit more scared and they're like, ooh, I'll let you in. All right, so get your mitten here and you can color it and then cut it out, okay? And then get your animals and color and cut them. So I'm gonna take my mitten here and I'm going to cut around on the black lines. Okay, so then I'm going to take my glue here and I'm going to stick some glue on the back of it. And I'm going to stick it on my paper bag. Not the side that has the bottom, on the other side. So I'm going to stick it on there, and I'm going to have it colored and have my name on it. And then I'm going to color all of my animals and cut them out. And I am going to pretend that this paper bag is the mitten. And now I can take all of these little animals after I cut them apart and I can retell the story. So I can take them and put the animals inside there and talk about how each animal is feeling as each one comes into the mitten, huh? All right, boys and girls, I wanna see your responses below. I wanna see your mittens and talk about, maybe pick one of the animals and talk about how that animal was feeling when the next animal came in, all right? Okay, bye boys and girls.